Hi, thank you for joining me for today's process video. And this photo is from a trip to New York City back in 2015. And it's the kids trying to cool off in one of the water sprayers that they had in um, Central Park. So I love this photo because of the bright colours that Amelia is wearing. She's got like a lime green and pink outfit going on there. <laughs> so I pulled out some inklings from Shimmer's Paints, starting off with Later Gator at the top, which is a nice greeny yellow. And then I'm going to move on to Hot Stuff and other inklings at the bottom, which is a beautiful hot pink. So just pulling out those colours from her clothing um, and also the green grass that you can see in the background there in the trees. This is a way of showing you how to use the colours in the photo that if they're not actually in the papers that you want to use. I hope that makes sense. I wanted to use the Simple Stories Wildflower collection. I'm really growing to love this collection and wanted to get some more use out of it. So I'm starting off with these bright colours just to pull in those colours from Amelia's outfit and then um, I'll use the more subtle colours from the collection to tie it all in. So using the packaging technique as you can see just spreading some of the inklings onto the um, packaging and then spreading it out around. And you will have seen at the beginning there, I um, marked with a pencil on the cardstock roughly where the photo was going to go, just so that I had an idea of where to put my mixed media because I wanted it to come to a point at the top and a point at the bottom, but still have plenty around the photo so that it does show. Because uh, you know me, once I add all my bits and pieces, <laughs> it all disappears under the photo and the embellishments. So just adding some splatters around. And when I've done this, I realised that that um, later gator isn't really quite green enough for me. So I'm coming in with I'm Not Lemon. It's another green from Inklings. And that just brings in, you can see it's slightly darker and it just brings in another colour. Uh, into the mix and I really like how that turned out just adding a little bit to the middles and then um, splattering some of that around as well so as I say just moving this all around and I love using the packaging technique because you can be fairly careful where you're placing things and then there I am again with my splatters so I'll move that over to the side to dry and while I'm doing that I'm just going to mount my photo onto some white cardstock this was a square four by four photo that I'd taken 2015 was it was the year when you couldn't put Instagram photos on without resizing them to four by to square <laughs> so I used to set my camera an awful lot to square photos which is a bit of a pain now so I'm just trimming that down to a, roughly a four by three uh, you saw that at the beginning and then mat matting it onto this white card stock just to give a border to make it stand out a little bit. So now into the wildflower collection and I'm going through the foam stickers because I noticed there were a couple of bits that have this beautiful lime green on. So I'm pulling out the together sticker which works obviously the kids are together and then I also pulled out that simple things one although that doesn't actually make the cut. So cutting some of the tags out of the 12 by 12 tag paper because I know I want to have one of these to the top of the photo but I'm not quite sure which one to use yet. I'm leaning towards that grey one at the top middle so um, I'll just trim out this strip of three and I will actually prepare those because I'm cutting them out anyway so just trimming them down into tags and then I'll uh, punch the holes in them and cut the corners off just so that they're ready to go on future layouts. So just, as I say, just using my scissors to cut the corners off and then I'll use my single hole punch just to put, punch that hole out. And then once that's done, I think the background's almost dry and I can start building the layout. So here's that punch, just doing all three. And they're ready to go. So just having a quick look and a play to see which ones I like the look of. And now I'm just going through the rest of the 12 by 12 papers. And I spot this too on the um, edge of a paper that I've used on a previous layout. And again, because it's my two, I think that'll be a really nice embellishment. So I'm going to fussy cut this out. Don't worry, I won't make you watch it all. <laughs> but just using my cutter B scissors to cut that out. And that will be my main embellishment on this layout. It's a very quick and easy layout, this one. So now I'm cutting out one of these four by six cards and I'm going to use the reverse pattern to map my photo on just a neutral blue James has got navy blue on so it works quite nicely and it doesn't detract from the beautiful bright colors that we've got in the background so just tearing the bottom to add a bit of texture and then trimming off that edge just because it's a little bit wide obviously with it being a three by four photo now 
just wanted to bring that down a little bit just so they're very narrow edges and then using my Tim Holtz edge distressor to scuff those edges and create a little bit of texture. So now that's done I can stick my photo onto that. I'll use my double sided tape. I'm trying to get better at using double sided tape because my layouts really are quite warped from using the wet glue. I don't mind it but um, while I've got some double sided tape I thought I should really make some use out of it. So just getting that stuck down and here's the layout and it's more or less dry so I just dab up those little dots that were still wet. I did that off camera and now I'm trying to decide where to put this to but the obvious place is in the right hand bottom corner where there's a lot of white space on the photo and then just popping that tag there. I'm not sure whether that's the one I'm going to use and actually I do change it out but it just gives me an idea of the shape of the layout. So I pulled from the 12 by 12 sticker sheet that sticker that says enjoy it all again in that lovely lime green just to bring some more of that into it and then gluing that number two down and then I can pop this down and this is a technique I got from my friend Jackie Ashton just to add your glue in the middle of the, fo the um, photo mat because then you can still tuck things in and around. I think I've been taking my glue a little bit far out to the edges and found it difficult subsequently to add things underneath so <laughs> great tip Jackie thank you so just sticking that down once I'd used my t-square ruler just to make sure that it was straight and now deciding where to put this foam together and it goes underneath that too perfectly so it's reading the title two together so just checking that I'm happy and then popping that down and then gluing the edge of that too on top and I realised that the right hand side of the two needs some foam pads so I'm just using these 6x12 foam pads on a roll from Sticks 2 that we sell at Hey Little Magpie. I'm just popping those under there. So now I want to carry on with the embellishing so just going through the sticker book to see what I've got in here and I see one of the, the lime green labels so I'm going to use that on the left hand side of the photo and that will be my journaling spot. I don't need to write loads about this. I've got so many photos from this holiday. I've done a Project Life album on the holiday because I do that for all of our holidays. But I wanted to get some 12 by 12 layouts done as well. So um, don't need to put too much journaling because there'll be plenty of photos with journaling. So it's just saying uh, cooling off in the hose sprays in Central Park and then the date. And that's it. So now I'm coming in with a Hey Little Magpie flare badge. This is the burlap set that matches the Wildflower collection. And then this piece that I'm using now that I'm putting one of our Naked Epoxies onto is a brand new product coming very, very soon to Hey Little Magpie. It's actually been designed to coordinate with the Heidi Swap Set Sale collection, but the pink matches really nicely with this as well. Um, and you find that in uh, ranges that are brought out the same year. A lot of the colours follow through the different collections. So um, this is the Set Sail printables. And as I say, coming very soon to Hale of the Magpie. Great for internationals as well because there's no shipping because it's something that you can just download from the site and then print yourself. So there goes that little heart. Just sticking that on down below that burlap flare. And we're nearly there now. So I'm turning my attention to the tag and deciding which one to use. Obviously, I'm going to cut the bottom bit off because we don't need all of that. And at this point, I think I'm going to use that grey because I like the pink around the hole as well. But when I come to sticking it down, I actually change my mind. <laughs> Stick it down on the other side. So again, just going through the sticker sheet to see what else I can use at the top there. I've cut that piece of scrap paper um, to layer with the tag but I'm not entirely happy with it it's too blue I wanted to bring some yellow up there so just looking through to see what I can find and then I find this sticker that says live a little and that works perfectly so just layering that onto the tag and here I am as I go to glue it down I remember that the other side was perfect so that's the one that I use in the end and I love that little navy and green leaf peeking out there so coming in with some pink wax twine and I'm just going to tie this in a bow at the top. I, I toy with trailing it down either side, but I didn't really want to change the shape of that mat. It was working quite nicely for me. So just tying it into a bow and then I'll trim off the excess. And when I've done this, I see that I need something in the top left hand corner. It's slightly lopsided. It's very heavy at the bottom right. So I pull this little pink butterfly off the 12 by 12 sticker sheet and that works beautifully just to bring the eye up to the top left. 
So finishing off with some scattering. So I'm using two of my Nouveau Crystal Drops in, I think it's Bubblegum Blush, and then I shall come in with the Dandelion Yellow afterwards. Again, just to bring that yellow in a little bit more. And then once that's down, I shall come in with some sequins. It's just, I think every time I use shimmers, they're so beautiful and sparkly. I just want to have more and more sparkles. So it's just a few tiny little sequins from my stash, just scattered around carefully. And that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm enjoying using this wildflower collection. It's absolutely stunning. Um, and I shall be using it in the not too distant future once again. Please check the description box down below for links to my shop and Etsy shop. I really appreciate you. Thank you again. Bye.